We knew that developing one of the oldest buildings in South Africa would not be easy. Particularly because heritage is so important to us. Hi, I'm Mike. And hi, I'm Casey Augustides, the younger brother, co-owner of the barracks. It was built in the early 1700s and uh, in later years it was adopted by the Dutch East India Company and the first floor was a military barracks. So the regiments used to sleep upstairs and that's where it gets its name from. It was a big challenge to keep the original building as it was as well as create a new interesting space for a new young generation who could still appreciate what was there originally. You'll see the design has an air gap between the top and the bottom and the idea is to uh, vertically separate the new component above and contrast it with the, the old building below. To actually restore the soul of the building where people could experience it as it was. Strand and Brie are both very wide streets. It gives you space. There's a lot of trees in our area. It's just a very pleasant, lovely place to be. We've tried to do something different. So there are a lot of other developments in town who are offering apartments. We're avoiding the cookie cutter uh, recipe, so we want people to feel the authenticity of the space. A lot of use of natural materials to complement what's happening on the site. We're doing something very unique on the rooftop. It's going to be a wellness center with Pilates, yoga, meditation. It's going to be a wonderful space to uh, escape to. The apartments are going to be beautiful with Cape Town and everything it has to offer on its doorstep. We're seeing massive changes in Bree Street. It's exciting actually. Art galleries, restaurants, coffee shops, other varieties, amazing. The aim of what we're doing is to not compromise. You feel part of the true history of Cape Town and yet part of its future. It's going to really be a lovely place. <laughs>